for my salvation. And yes, say you go and watch a bit of porn or something. Then you're not, you're not, you, you by, the, by the form that we've given of God, who is perfect, you in fact would be a heretic. No, sorry, not a heretic, but you in fact would be a hypocrite. That's the point. So in order to avoid that, Christ tells us that it's by faith alone, not of your own works. Because the Israelites and all throughout the Old Testament, they tried to work for their salvation. And what ended up happening is they worship other gods because they could not work the good works of the Lord. So saying basically, some of the beliefs don't have any good work anyway. They'll end up doing the good works of Christ, yes. So people who believe, who say they believe, they don't do good work. Are they, are they Christian? They would be hypocrites, yes. They would be hypocrites, yes. So the condition of them and the proof of them being Christian is what? No, the proof of them being a Christian, of course, is by their faith. Right, even, even James 2 says, you know my faith by my works. But before living God, because remember, you've got to understand, we have a system of justification. The Bible says in First Thessalonians, right, that the Lord has nailed our transgression across. So what justifies us before the Lord is different for what justifies between us between me and you. So let's say you look at me, right, and I'm out here like I'm drinking a bunch of alcohol and I call myself a Christian. I may be justified before the living God because I hold some doctrine and I repent daily. But, but, but you're looking at me and thinking, well, you're not a Christian. You guys are drinking alcohol. You see the difference? So you guys can drink alcohol. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can. We, sorry, we can. Well, I say corn. We can, yes. We can, of course, drink alcohol. But the, the difference is, of course, we can't drink it abundantly. We can, of course, we, we can sort of engage in, like, marital sex. But we can't go out and have sex with whoever we want. So you're, you're, you're a Protestant. No. I'm a born-again Bible-believing Christian. The, the, pro, the term Protestant was invented in the 15th century by Roman Catholics because they believed we are protesting against their church. But I don't believe I've changed the church. I believe that the church has been reformed. How much? In, which Bible do you read? Which Bible do I Well, I, I believe the... I, well, I read the True Bible, which passes down from the Syriac Canon. The Syriac Canon is the earliest canon we have from St. Jerome and St. Augustine and St. Athanasius. How many books is in that Bible? How many books? So in that Bible, 66 books. Yeah, in St. Jerome's Bible, yes. And in, and in, uh, the, in the Athanasius Bible, there's about 67 books because he includes Baruch. But it's the same sort of concept. The Apocrypha itself is a later invention. And, and the reason why I believe that is because the Pharisaic tradition doesn't allow for the, the uh, Apocrypha or the seven other books. So they claim that um, like the, the, the pots of revision took the books out of the Bible. That's a lie. Yeah, but no, they didn't. Martin Luther didn't take any books out of the Bible. <laughs> They, they made that claim because Martin Luther claimed that the uh, Gospel of James is an epistle of straw. But it's not based upon anything. It's just a claim. Unfortunately, a lot of people that come down the park don't do the studying on what the Reformed Church actually believes. Because they don't understand it. Which is fair. Is there a church? Is there a church? Yes. Universal. Is there, yeah, there's a universal church. I believe that. There's a Catholic universal church. Catholic means universal. But where it should be used with the Roman Catholics. I was not Roman Catholic, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I believe in a Catholic church, yes. In, in the sense of a universal church, yes. There's, do you know what you, by what you're saying, a, like a lot of Christians are not Christian? They're not Christian, no. If you, if you believe that a papacy, my friend, can save you, even though the Bible, if, nowhere in the, in the Bible does it say there's going to be a papacy and we must believe in him to be saved. Yeah, the Catholic canon state, so state that. So, is there anything such as apostolic tradition? Apostolic tradition is a concept that comes more so out of the 7th century. And it's, it's the claim that basically because you're aligned to a church that has this sort of apostolicity, you're a Christian. The issue of that, of course, is, for example, well, let's say there's a, there's a mosque, right? At first it was built up by Sunnis, right? So that, that was a Sunni mosque for quite a while. But then the Shia took it over, or a Shia imam came in, and he takes it over and everybody agrees with him. Now, you wouldn't claim that's still a Sunni mosque, would you? Yeah, it's a Shia mosque, because the doctrines have changed. What we're claiming is that the Roman churches, they had true doctrine in, in them, they claim to be apostolics in their, in their base, in their foundations, but the actual teachings are not apostolic. That's the point. If they're not based upon the Bible, which is, which is holy writ, and if it's not based upon the Bible, why, why should we trust anything they have to say? I mean, imagine, Christians have to believe that the Bible is... Say it again. Uh, Bob says he believes in Catholic traditions. So he, he, he claims he believes in Catholic theology, which is contradictory, because if he claims he, has, he believes in Catholic theology, he has to believe that the papacy is true. Yeah, so that, that's what he claims. That's why I call him a Catholic, because you can't claim you believe in Catholic doctrines, yet not believe that the papacy is true. It's Catholic. Say again? It's Catholic. Yeah, yeah, JC's definitely Catholic, yeah. JC believes I'm heretic. He hasn't said it openly, but JC Wait, believes I'm heretic. Mary, he's a... What he said about, he said, he said, you um, read the Bible by yourself. No, I don't read the Bible by myself. Who said? He said like, I don't know. He said something like, 
Nope. All of the stuff I believe. Well, ultimately, think about it like this way: How did a Roman Catholic come to the church? Come to the idea that the Roman Catholic Church is true? Did they go to the Pope and say, "Oh, can you help me, sir, interpret this word for me?" No, they didn't do that. They read the do they either read the Church Fathers or they came to their own conclusion of that fact. What we're doing as Christians, we're saying. Does this align with our earliest documents? The Bible is the earliest document we have, and the earliest church fathers don't claim there's a papacy. Therefore, we can infer that, in fact, the Bible itself is true and tradition is true. And if that's the case, why should we trust the Roman Catholic and East Orthodox Church? Just says what it is, man. Where do you go to church? No, no, oh, where? Do you go to, like, what, what, I want to say where do you go to church. I'm saying what type of church? Oh, yeah, so I'm, I'm part of a Baptist church right now. I mean, so I'm not going to say where on camera or no, even no, at the park. Like, I, I, I was just curious about what type of church. Yeah, yeah, so it's a Baptist church pretty much. Baptist, like, Baptist is like they have a beginning, don't they? Yeah, yeah, Baptists have a beginning, but Baptists would claim, of course, that their traditions stem from the early church. And if you look at the early church, they were Baptists themselves. Because they didn't affirm, like, veneration of icons, for example, <laughs> or prayers to saints. There's nothing in there, like, Saint, like Clement of Rome, Clement of Alexandria. They're not affirming prayer to saints anywhere. And I've read all that stuff, and I'm like, well, hold on, why is it not in there? Because I wanted to be a Catholic, like, last year. And so I was like, I'm going to read this. And then I read it, and I was like, nah. <laughs> why is it really a Catholic? Well, it's because I thought that, I was told that because they're the early church, I should believe in them, by JC and others. But then I read up and I thought, nah, this isn't really true. So, in so-called, is it like a Catholic gang? Uh, pretty, well, it's an e ecumenical gang. It's not a Catholic gang, but it's an ecumenical gang. Oh, yeah, so they believe that anybody who calls themselves a Christian is a Christian, basically. Which is stupid. Because even Unitarians call themselves Christian. And I wonder how they're going to struggle with that. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> you're, you're in the village, you know. I'm in the village right now. Yeah. <laughs> Next time you do your video, big up GM Seal. Who? Big up James Seal, where you're coming from. James Seal? Oh, Karen, okay. Karen and James Oh, yeah, Karen. Yeah. They're watching you. Oh, nice. <laughs> why, why do you think he did the right thing since because a lot of Christians were against us? No. Christians. Let me explain something. You want to yeah. say it on camera as well? Just tell yeah. him, tell him actually. The reason why he's right. If I'm gonna teach God, you must teach what's in the book. Hmm. And they're not teaching what's in the book. So he's got he's our right. Because the Bible says you, know, you can you can contest anybody, right? Hmm. So if a man is not teaching what is right, then you can contest it. If you're a Christian and you feel like it's not teaching right, then you have a right to contest that. Remember in the in the temple when Jesus went into the temple and said, and get mother and my mash up the temple? I said, I want to tell my fathers in the marketplace, well, we're in hell right now, right? Mm. So if you are talking about God, we're coming here to what? save people. You can't save people the way they want to deal with people. So he's, he was right, and I support him 100%. Mm. Yes. Amen. Thank and you know, I may not do that, but yeah. I support that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Every word you say, me agree with that. Yeah, man. Oh, you, you got some heresy, man. You know, me not take side with nobody. No, I don't take side with nobody. It's the truth, Amy. And if the truth does offend, and if you are a Christian and you deny this your truth, then you, you better you go serve Satan. Well, even the Bible says, have you, have you become my enemy because I told you the truth? Well, look at them, they become my enemy because I told them no, the truth. No, they don't become your enemy, they're already the enemy of Jesus. Yeah, they're already enemies of Jesus. Yeah, Jesus, <laughs> Christ, Jesus Christ said they hate him before they hate you. Yeah, yeah, true, true. So you, uh, you see, you, see, you notice, never matter with them no more. Why? Mm. Because, my friend, if we are going to teach God, God is not about money. But we have to hustle, right? Mm. At the same time, we have to have an understanding, say, any man who not fear that, mm. I'm going to talk that in honor of God. Mm. Yes? And well, I even say, the Bible says not many men can be teachers. And a lot of people coming down there, they haven't even learned the word of God. <laughs> ask them next time, next time you ask them, ask them, which one of them? God said. Yeah. <laughs> you just ask them, you hear me? Next time you talk them fool, you just ask them, when did God tell you to come here? Let me tell you something. We are Jamaica. Mm. Yeah, and that's my mother. My mother sends me to say, God said, you need know, to go back, go back and speak as can. Mm. I don't mean, I don't mean want to come here. I don't want to come here. No. Just, when you come here, no one no want to come here to learn, my friend. Yeah. They just want to come here to bring their religion and their doctrine. And their, yeah. We are people of Christ. Yeah. That's where we are, right? So if we are people of Christ, we're supposed to be Christ-like, right? Yes, you see the memory act like Christ? No. <laughs> what do they act like? The enemy, brother. Mm. They're like demons. That's what they're like. You keep, you keep the faith. Amen. 
Yeah. Always keep the faith. Always keep the faith. Shalom, brother. Shalom. 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 Today, we have grown strong. Yes. <laughs> you see, if you don't get any Mr. Takichu, remember this. If you don't get any, get this money camera. If you don't get enemy to speak the truth, you're not teaching God. Because your enemy starts from Satan and the devil's them is the workers of Satan. Amen. <laughs> Shalom, my brother. Shalom, bro.